hello, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to bring you a really long video of all the books that I bought in the months of September, October, November. So in other words, the fall haul. All right, y'all, I bought a lot. So get yourself a drink, settle in. Let's go. I'm not going to talk about many of these very long because there's a lot. So I'm kind of going to go through these in a little bit of a random order. Uh, this first few are just going to be like randoms that I bought throughout. Uh, and a lot of these, since I bought them in the fall, are very fall themed. So I'm going to quit talking and go through the books. Let's go. The first one is Vampires Never Get Old, Tales with a Fresh Bite. This is edited by Zoraida Cordova and Natalie C. Parker, but also includes stories by Samir Ahmed, Danielle Clayton, Julie Murphy, Tessa Gratton, Laura Ruby, V.E. Schwab, Rebecca Roanhorse, etc. So I'm super excited for this. I'm really pumped. I'm going to get to it hopefully sooner rather than later. But, you know, you never know how, how book hauls are going to work. So next up, I picked up a book that I got an arc of, but I could not stand not having a finalized copy of. And that is Fangs by Sarah Anderson. It's got a lovely, like, fabric-y cover with some black-tipped edges. And I just love it. It is a kind of a comic collection about a vampire girl falling in love with werewolf boy and... I absolutely loved it, had to have my own copy, then of course made me want to own all of the books in the Sarah Scribbles collection so far. So I picked up Adulthood is a Myth, Big, uh, Big Mushy Happy Lump, and Herding Cats, all by Sarah Anderson. So I mean at least I read them already, but now I own them. And then speaking of webcomics, I found another webcomic this fall that I absolutely love. I even have stickers for on my cell phone when I text people, and that is Slothilda. This is Living in the Sloth Lane by Dante Fabiro. And oh, I love Slothilda. I love, love, love Slothilda. So I've already read this one, of course, as well, because I love her. And like I said, I use my stickers all the time, but I'm super happy to have this one. And follow her on Instagram. If you have if you don't follow Slothilda. What are you doing? It's actually this guy. But still, follow Slothilda. She's so cute and so funny. Oh my goodness. I also bought the sequel to In the Hall with the Knife, uh, the Clue Murder Mystery series that I've been talking about for a full year. I actually reread it before I read the sequel, dun, 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 which I bought, and that is In the Study with the Wrench by Diana Peter Freund. And I must say, I think I like the, the first one a little bit better, but so fantastic. Still highly recommend and so looking forward to more in the series. Sadly, for some reason in my head, I'm thinking there's only going to be three. So that means we only have one more, which would make me really sad. But even so, then we still have one more. So I'm super excited. Already read this one. Go me. I've read quite a few of these already. Um, but yes, love it. Can't wait for more. Next up, we have Go By Yourself, The Lilies and Other Rituals to Fix Your Life from Someone Who's Been There by Tara Schuster. Schuster? And I follow her on Instagram and I really like a lot of the ideas that she has, a lot of the kind of pep talks that she gives. So I decided to pick up her book so that when I'm reading it, I can annotate it myself and, you know, really store those takeaways in a physical copy. Likewise, kind of all same with Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. I follow him on Instagram, same thing like what he has to say, same thing. And I would like to be able to annotate in this one as well. So I decided to go ahead and get a physical copy. Uh, along the lines of kind of like self-help positivity stuff, I also have gotten a little bit into like crystals. <laughs> I know it's kind of just like me carrying around rocks in my pocket, but you know, whatever it takes to make you feel your very best, right? So I've got some pretty rocks and I bought a couple of different books along the lines. Um, I actually picked up a chakra one while I was at it. This is the little book of chakras, an introduction to healing, uh, energy healing. This is by Amy Lee and Chad McCree. I haven't gotten to that one yet, but I did read Little Book of Crystals, an introduction to crystal healing by Cassandra Eason. I read that one. Uh, I haven't read these completely, but I have kind of flipped through them. This one is the illustrated crystal, crystallery, crystallery, crystallery. I don't know. Uh, this is by Maya Toll though, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then I also got Crystals for Beginners by Karen Frazier. And again, crystals are just really fun and they're really pretty. I like to leave them on my, like my windowsill. And then like every day I'll pick one to take with me for like good luck. 
<laughs> and it's almost like having like a little worry stone. So it's a lot of fun. Next, one of my favorite local independent bookstores was having a major sale on paperbacks in October. And i am definitely made use of that sale. Like basically all of these are books that I had just heard of that I kind of wanted to read. I kind of wanted to own and they were having a big sale on paperbacks. They were all in paperbacks. So they came home with me. So let's just go through these really quickly. First up is one that I'd already read, but I didn't own. And that was The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Like I said, I've read it. I didn't own it. I've kind of gone into Ruth Ware lately. So I wanted to own it. So I bought it. Uh, next up is The Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. I, I don't know. I heard good things. I feel like out of all the ones I bought though, this is the one that has the potential for me to like it the least. Just from what I've heard, I feel like this is going to be a book that it either gets like five stars or like two stars for me. So we'll see. Um, I also got one that I'd never heard of called Mad and Bad, Real Heroines of the Regency by Bay Cook. And I am super excited for this. I just, I love everything about this cover and I really like the ideas of it. So I'm excited to give it a read. Similarly with one that was sitting next to it and that's Waking the Witch. Reflections on Women, Magic, and Power by Pam Grossman. This is uh, by a host of a uh, witchy podcast called The Witch Wave Podcast, which I don't know. I tend to like books, I think, written by podcast authors, uh, makers, creators. I don't know. So I'm interested to give this one a try. Um, I also picked up The Invited by Jennifer M uh, McMahon and The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher to try to get a little bit more, you know, horror going in my life. We'll see. Those are ones that definitely stood out to me as ones I might like. I also picked up Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. Dodd, not sure, but heard tremendous things and I really like the cover. So I picked this one up. Um, I also got Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman because I've heard fantastic things uh, about just this book series in general this author I've never read a book by Alice Hoffman but I know that I absolutely love this book excuse me this movie but I feel like I'm already gonna like this book so I'm super excited to pick it up we'll see I feel like that could be a fall one though maybe I'll save that for next fall don't know uh, Christmas one that I found though was The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. This was kind of just an impulse buy because I was feeling in the Christmassy mood and uh, I actually bought this one. This was probably like one of the last ones I bought during that sale. So I was heading out of the Halloween vibe and into the Christmas vibe and I just needed it. So I got it. Um, I also picked up the newest book in the Bad Guy series. This is number 12 called The One. And this is by Erin Blavy. I really like this series. I always buy the newest one in the series. And now it's officially got its little sticker that it's going to be a motion picture soon, hopefully post COVID, so I can actually go see it. Or, you know, at least they'll make arrangements maybe so we can watch it online. But whatever, I read this one already. I'm all caught up and they're adorable. I will say I do think it's starting to get a little bit repetitive, but I still think it's a totally fun uh, juve comic series, perfect for um, upper elementary, middle grade kids. And, and it's a lot of fun to read. The next one I have to say is a little bit embarrassing because of course this is the third book in a series that I haven't even read the first book to, but that's A Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. I read a little bit of the first one and I think it was just the wrong timing. I think I had too much going on because I wasn't liking it, so I put it down because I just have full confidence that I'm gonna love this series. I feel like it has all the ingredients in a book that I would like. So I went ahead and bought the third one in anticipation of liking the other two books. So. We're just gonna will that into existence. Um, I also bought Sal and Gabby Break the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. I've heard tremendous things about this middle grade series. And I don't know, this cover is just adorable. I thought the hardback cover was really cute, but oh, this one's, they're just so cute. And I am excited to talk about it with my kids. So yes, we're going to read that one. I also bought a copy of Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I originally planned to buddy read this with a friend earlier this year and it didn't work out. I went ahead and bought my own copy. Hopefully that'll help. Um, and then I also got The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James because I've heard really, really good things about this one and I wanted to give it a try. I don't think I've read anything by this author and this is probably the one I've heard the most 
awesome things about. So I wanted to go ahead and try that one. Now this one, I don't think I bought on the paperback sale, but I can't remember if I hauled it this this uh, prior to the fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and mention it, but if I already hauled it, I apologize. But I brought bought Bluebird Bluebird by Attica Locke. This I'm planning to buddy read with my dad. Because long story short, um, I sent off a request for myself and for my dad separately months apart to a podcast that does kind of personalized reading, re reading recommendations. And they both came back with this as one of the two options. So I told my dad, we've got to buddy read it together. So I bought us both a copy. And sadly, this was on my TBR for the fall and it just didn't happen. But I still really want to read it. And hopefully we'll both really, really like it. Uh, next up, let's do, what should we do? Let's do our book of the month ones. So my uh, peer book club is still meeting via Zoom and we have decided to join the book of the month book club. And we kind of roughly pick a book like every other month. Um, so I don't remember if we hauled this first one um, before fall or not, but the one that we read probably for our September meeting was The Night Swim by Megan Golden. And we all pretty much like this one. I think if you like um, true crime podcasts, I think you'll really like this. It's very much a fictionalized murder mystery with a true crime podcast element. So uh, if you like, like something like Sadie, I think you'll really like this one as well. Although I think Sadie was better personally. Um, currently right now we're reading Leave the World Behind by Rahman Alam. And I'll have to say it's really slow going so far, especially since this is such a short book, but I've heard it's really good. I've heard it really picks up and um, there's been obviously a lot of buzz about it. I know that oh, I think somebody picked it for the reading group. I think it was a read with Jenna pick. And um, obviously we picked it for our read with our book club pick. <laughs> and I know it's gonna be made into a movie with some pretty big names attached to it. So super excited to be reading this one. I'm not super far, but I am currently reading this one. And then um, we were kind of split down the middle for our last one. Uh, so we decided just to go with the theme for our last book uh, club meeting of the year. Um, to be a 2020 pick. And then two of us decided to choose These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And I'm super excited to read it. And this will be one then that I have to read in December. So hopefully it'll be showing up in um, a review soon. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited to read that one. Then I also ended up rebuying a couple of books. <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but a couple of years ago, I decided like, you know, I, I decided to uh, Marie Kondo my books and I'm like, I'm getting rid of these things. I'm just getting rid of them. And I did, I got rid of a lot and I got rid of any book that I had read that I didn't think I was going to reread again um, at that moment, which ugh, is so dumb because like I change my mind all the time of what I want to reread. So why did I do that? I won't do it again. I promise I won't do it again. But anyway, I ended up rebuying three books uh, that I have read before that I probably owned up until like four years ago and I'd like to read again. So the first one is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I had one with a way cuter cover, so that kind of bums me out. But I rebought bought this because obviously with the uh, third book and the movie coming out recently, I've just gotten a lot of like reread me vibes and I'd like to read this one hopefully over the holiday season. I don't know if it'll happen. Um, and then I also got two books by Christopher Golden. Um, I believe these are the first and second books in the Body of Evidence series with the Jenna Blake character. She's kind of like a teenager who essentially gets to be like, CSIE and it's is she a college maybe she's a college student but I love these I thought these were super cool um my like gut reaction was like oh my gosh I'll read these and if they're fantastic I'll share them with the kids but I'm like they're not gonna be they're this she's probably got like a pager or something so I don't know but I would like to reread them so I went ahead and got them um I also lastly got a few books from a scholastic book fair so the first two are picture books that I absolutely had to have one is potato pants by Lori Keller absolutely fantastic picture book oh my gosh if you have little ones or uh, like little nieces and nephews etc potato pants you can't go wrong with similarly the return of Thelma the Unicorn this is by Aaron Blavy can't go wrong cannot go wrong 
with either of these picture books, so I had to own them. Um, I also picked up two middle grade titles. The first one is Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga. Um, one key thing from this is that it, they fly in and live in Cincinnati, which obviously is where I'm based, so that's kind of cool. Um, I've also got to hear her speak a couple of times because she is, or at least was, fairly local. I know she's been to my local independent bookstore a couple times, and she came to at least do one panel at a library conference I've been at, I'm sure. So I've, I've, I know she's going to do a really great job with this. And then personally, I've heard just such, such good things about this that I'm really excited to read it. So hopefully now that I own it, it'll happen a little bit faster. And last but not least, I'm really trying to up my middle grade horror game lately. So I decided to pick up the scariest one on the shelf. And this year that was Hide and Seeker by Daka Herman and who that is a scary cover. I have no idea what it's about. Doesn't matter, but I'm going to read it and I'm super excited. So goodness gracious, that was so many books. I bought so many books this fall season. I think like that's been the only time I go out. I go to work and I will literally put my mask on and run into the bookstore and grab whatever books I can get in like 15 minutes <laughs> and then try to bolt out of there. Uh, so I feel like that's, that's where I go. Everywhere else I try to do like drive through or whatever. So I think the quarantine has definitely up my book buying game <laughs> just because it's the only time I get out of the house for pleasure. But nonetheless, I'm super excited about everything I bought and hopefully they'll fit on my shelves. So, so thank you for watching. And if you've read any of these and you think that I need to uh, up the priority level on them, let me know. What was your favorite book that you bought this fall season? Let me know down below. Let's talk some books in the comments. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.